Hello everybody, welcome to Stake Insanity. This is day 105 and welcome to my daytime office. I wanted to record something really quickly because I was just replying to a comment and it got me started thinking. And this goes back to one of my older episodes where I was talking about um, vegan diet, how I'd watched that show and noticed that vegans had the same improvement that people on carnivore did. And the comment was about, you know, everybody claims that the carnivore diet can solve all sorts of problems. It's making your skin better and getting rid of MS or, you know, getting rid of arthritis like I've seen or making your junk look bigger or whatever. And there's tons and tons of claims out there. And my, my comment to that person was, well, yeah, um, I think that eliminating all the crap from your diet and just going back to basics, I think probably will solve a whole load of problems. It has done. And I think it does that and it solves different things for different people. And we're all different, every single one of us doing the living life, in fact, but particularly doing that. And different people are gonna have different reactions to different foods. Some people, have to go almost lion diet where they literally have just red meat, water, and salt. Other people are quite happy and very successful at just going meat. Other people add, like me sometimes, I have other stuff like some nuts. Um, but that's because all of our bodies are different and we've all got different problems. And so the things that we need to eliminate and the things that we need to do, the exercise that we need to get or not get, or the amount of sleep that we need to get or not get, is all. And so what the purpose of the diet for me is carnivore diet is an excellent way to just strip everything out and to then start to figure out what can I do? What can I eat that doesn't have a negative impact on me as a person? Each one of us have to go through that and each one of us has to figure out what are the things we can do. I get if you're doing it for purely for weight loss purposes that maybe just sticking purely to the diet and the carbs out and that sort of thing probably works the best. But if you're doing it from the elimination standpoint, I think it's important. I mean, the weight loss is a nice side of it, but I think it's very important to Test the different foods that you can eat. Try and work some stuff back in your diet and see what you react to. I know Casey, um, the vegetable police, just did a, a video talking about, you know, his, his mother died recently. He had some sushi and he ate it and it was fine. And then five days later, he started feeling terrible and he couldn't figure out what it is. And, you know, we, we have to do that. I think those of us that do it for that reason, we have to continually test and see what we can and can't have. Like, I don't do it super strict. I'm sorry about the video. I don't know what's going on with my work camera. I, I'm not super strict on the diet because I'm not really doing it for weight loss. I'm doing it for elimination because I'm trying to get rid of some physical problems and some ailments that I have. And it seems to work really well for that. And sometimes it doesn't. So if I have something like a diet cola, something like that then this video is driving me crazy it literally never does this so i have no idea why it's doing it so for different people it's just a we have to do it in a different way and i think carnivore diet is probably the best way for the vast majority of people to start on the elimination bit now that being said i think there is a potential in that theory which is, I think there are some people who don't handle meat very well. And those people who are more successful on a vegetarian slash vegan type diet. And I think those, there are those people. And I think a lot of people have trouble with meat for whatever reason. And so those people who go vegan and stop eating meat and feel a lot better, probably totally fine for them as well. And I don't think we should... I get that there's a whole ethical 
you know, philosophical side to the, to the vegan diet that they don't want to kill things and whatever. But if, again, if people are doing it because they want to improve their health, then maybe there are people out there that just don't react to meat very well. And if, if that's the case, then go vegan, go vegetarian. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, it just, it seemed like there was a little bit of a poke in there. And so he, they poked me. I don't know if it's a man, man or a woman, but they poked me and I responded a little bit. But yeah, that was my thought on it. And I just thought I'd make a video to talk about that. Um, I'm interested to get everybody else's opinion as always. So please feel free to off in the comments and let me know. And um, I really want to record in my office, but video I had it. I'm going to have to talk about why. Anyway, guys, and I'll see you next time. Anyway, bye bye.